All right, so today I will uh, cast the right uh, sharklet, winglet, whatever. That's the mold, and this time I used wax. You see, it's shiny. Anyways, uh, what else I should do today? Um, yeah, the winglets, uh, maybe the horizontal stabilizer, and maybe I don't know, do some things. Maybe maybe the landing gear or the engine itself. Let's just build whatever. Let's cast this. Show you how I'm doing. It's it's simple, but let me just show you how I'm doing. This is the left one. It's that's fine, but this will be better because I don't know why, but it will be better. Is it boring yet? <laughs> okay, I have carbon and I have fiberglass. This is 250 grams carbon fiber, 250 grams per square meter, and this is 80 or 110. I don't remember. Anyways, it's uh, fiberglass. So I wanna first cut them to shape and then add the BVA. layer is a little bit dry so the second one sticks on it and then we have a flat surface without any holes that's a very good layer okay let's leave it for like 15 minutes or something to dry and then we can start and this is the main landing gear from the dreamliner and uh, I changed, uh, I, I bought a different, uh, I read this called an arm, whatever. I bought a new ones, longer ones, because the Dreamer were like here, shorter, ether 50 is much higher. And so I bought these, but I then found out that, see the distance between the wheels, here and here, it's completely different than Dreamliner. This is uh, not the accurate thing. If you look here, you see the difference? There's so much distance, so I have to I have to rebuild. Have to rebuild the whole thing, make them wider, even bigger. And hopefully they will still fit in the doors because I already cut the doors. These are the doors. I made the hole like a hatch. Look at it.
horizontal stabilizer uh, that I casted around, I don't know, three, four hours ago. And I am using Kevlar now to make the hinge, which is, uh, this is the first time I'm trying this. And I think I did it right because that's the left horizontal stabilizer with a Kevlar hinge and it's perfect. It's beautiful. I will show this in part, we're in part five now, part five. All right, uh, it's the next day and um, I think it's cured and ready. Let's open it up and see if everything is good. I need to sit and think about this, how I will assemble the fuselage and try to align everything. And it's, uh, it's spring already here and the weather is really nice. And I was so excited to, to have finally good weather to go out and fly. But unfortunately, uh, it's not allowed anymore. Here in Germany, uh, we've been banned. We cannot gather, we cannot go to the airfield. We are not allowed to fly. Uh, and if we do so, we will lose our insurance, our license, because here we are uh, required to have license to fly. And if we go and fly, we will lose that because it's forbidden. I hope this won't uh, last long. Hopefully we will recover, we will get everything under control. And so we can have our lives back to normal. And uh, yeah. All right, it's ready, uh, it's 100% aligned and I had to, you can see in here, that's the hole and I had to lift it up a little bit to match the other side uh, because I just found out that I made the main bar inside the fuselage was not straight. It was like two degrees tilted. Uh, I don't know why I did this, I did not notice that. But now I have to uh, add those two degrees in here to match the other side with the, the dihedral thing. And so this is now like the main spar, just a piece of wood. And we're gonna uh, glue it here around uh, three to four millimeters behind the cut. And I will add another one also at the other side. And uh, that would be it. Then add the servo and then hopefully finish this today.
looks really good so now we leave it until tomorrow I just watched the BVA and this looks so amazing <laughs> I love it unfortunately we won't see this uh, lovely carbon fiber color because everything will be painted and covered so but we know that there is carbon fiber and beneath everything and it's so lovely super strong yep let's put it on the wing and see how it's yeah oh i still have to cut it like this like this around five degrees mold and I cannot open it now I'll open it tomorrow but it will be the same as this and I will just file down the hinge cut this out and then we will have the elevator working really good and these are the engine nacelles this one is done I'll show all that in the next uh, episodes or next build part and the second one is almost done I made those uh, inlets myself even the molds I designed these molds on AutoCAD with this luft tool took me a while but I I managed it like the A350 almost exactly like the A350 I hope so but it looks really scale and the inlet also that's the ADF is already inside and this thing is looking really good really good I just still have to add some filler in here and finish this and I'm loving this it's really nice and so that's it for this video i hope you guys like this kind of videos i mean i had fun doing doing them because i have uh, extra time now i'm not going outside i'm just stuck at home at my workshop and uh, i've seen the comments and the community tab uh, some of you are asking me about my radio setup and some other questions thank you for that and also if you have some more questions or if you want me to show you some more details on certain parts and stuff you can just write them down in this comment and i will try my best to uh, show you that in the next uh, videos now for my radio setup uh, i cannot show that now uh, because i i still like i did not install uh, the receivers or the gyros inside the plane but i will mention that and i will talk uh, on details and uh, show you that in the next videos hopefully so next week i might make another video where i will uh, make a new landing gear exact scale hopefully of the a350 or maybe make the uh, mounts for the adfs on the wings anyways i might make a video next week so stay tuned for that write down your questions and thank you for watching wash your hands and see you in the next video bye bye